To create your own simple view in Islandora 8, go to Structure and Views. You can see here a lot of different views that Islandora and just Drupal in general come with. We're going to add a view. We've got a lot of cat pictures, so I'll call this my basic cat view. And I'm going to choose content that is of the repository item content type. I'll leave the sort alone. I want to create a page so I'll be able to see the results of my view. Leave most of these settings as they are. I can also have it create a block that I can place in here on my site. I can have it create a menu link while I'm creating the view itself. A lot of these items can be done later on after the view is created but we can save ourselves some time by checking these boxes as we're starting. All right, we'll save those settings. And now we go into the view editor. And we can see here at the bottom, it's giving us a preview of what the output of this particular view would look like with the settings we have now. And this will get updated as we start changing the settings. So the first thing we're gonna do is add an additional filter criteria. So right now we're filtering on the item being published, we're filtering based on based on it being in the island or content type. And now we're going to add subject as a filter so we can build a view around the subject of cats. So we see here a list of our taxonomy. We'll make that a drop down list so we can see what's available. So we have two existing vocabulary terms in subject, cats and dogs. We're going to select cats for this view. And we will apply that to all displays, which means it will apply it to both the page we're working on now and to the block that's being built alongside of it. And now when we scroll down to our preview, it has filtered out anything that's not tagged with the subject of cats. We can change how those results are displayed by switching it from an unformatted list into a grid. We'll apply those changes. have a look at the preview of our results. So now we've gone from a long list to a grid view. The items in this view. So if we're happy with how that looks for now, we'll save the view. And I'll go back out to the home page because I told you to create a menu item. There's a link right here that I can go to see my view out in the world. Here it is on my site. We also had it automatically create a block. So to place that, we go to block layout and we'll find the section of the page where we'd like our block to appear. Let's put it right in with the main content. So we'll place block and we'll find the custom block that was created for our view. Here's the basic cat view. We'll place that block. We'll leave the logic alone for now, just for demonstration. And let's scroll down and save blocks. And now when we go back out to our home page, we see this block appear. It's got uh, just formatted as a list within the block itself. If we'd like to change that, there's a little shortcut we can take right here to jump right into the view editor. So let's turn this one, just like the page, we'll turn it into a grid view. And we'll change what we're displaying fields to show the content. We'll show the teaser for all of these nodes in our block. Give a little preview of what that's going to look like. We'll save that block. And since we use the shortcut, it's going to jump us right back to the view. You can see it's here on our home page above the main content, a block with cat pictures. And all of this is powered by Drupal Views. For more information about Islandora, including documentation, downloads, and an online sandbox where you can try it for yourself, please visit us at islandora.ca.